Welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here on the Bagode Master, also going to be riding the S22. I shot some footage in the same area at Floyd Land Park, which is one of my favorite places in Las Vegas to ride. Lots of dirt trails. You're, you'll get to see a little bit over here. This is just a fraction of it. But I rode the same terrain on both wheels, so you can see a direct comparison between the two wheels. The S22 has the stock tire on it, which I prefer over the Shinko 241. Even on the street, I prefer prefer the S22 stock tire over the Shinko 241. I really like how it handles on the street, really like how it handles off the road. There's something about the way it turns, it just is much better tire. I will be changing to a different tire on my master, of course, the street tire for the Apple Valley race that's coming up on the 19th and 20th. The stock tire on the S22, love it. I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't race this. This would not, the S22 would not be a street wheel, street wheel, street wheel for me. It would definitely only be an off-roading EUC. It is not something that I am actually interested in buying at the current price points. That's my own personal interest. I already have a master and I feel like it is superior in almost every way except jumping that's the only thing the master cannot do is big big jumps with the stock uh the stock shock maybe i haven't seen maybe if you got a better shock with the master maybe you could do jumps but i think the form factor is too tall one of my favorite things about the s22 is the form factor if i could put the motor and the board you know everything that makes the master so powerful if i could put that into the s22 i would take the s22 over the master because it's just i like the form factor i like the way it's put together it feels great um, i know some people don't like it because it's wider than the master but i prefer that and i think it makes it easier to turn so that is a big win for me on the s22 is the form factor the price they're both about the same price so for the money you get a bigger battery on the master get more volt voltage on the master it feels like a better overall value i feel like the smartest thing king song could do is lower the price of it. If this came down to maybe 2,900 to 3,000, I feel like that would be a more reasonable price point compared to the Master. RevRides currently has their batch two of the S22 in stock. I don't know what modifications, if any, have been made. It would be nice to know. That would be nice to know uh, if RevRides or anybody has any information on, is there any difference between batch one and batch two? Um, or is it just a, you know, a later batch of the same thing? For me, I know there was an S22 update, but I didn't notice anything. It feels, still feels like an 84 volt wheel to me. It really, I don't understand how they couldn't add a little bit more torque for off-roading. You need a little bit more torque. You can see right here, I actually wanted to kind of pass this motorcycle because they were taking it easy and enjoying the sights, but I just didn't have the power. Like I, I it doesn't feel like a passing wheel to me uh, at my weight. And the heavier you get, the less power this thing's gonna have. So the heavier you are on the weight spectrum, the more you're going to want to master. It is a superior wheel. It is much funner. That torque, that power. The only reason I could think of to get the S22 is if you're more of a casual rider and you're, or you're in a jumper. Those are two of the things. You're a casual off-roader that doesn't need a lot of power because you're not going up hills or you're not having to accelerate around turns very fast. Maybe even like a basic streak. If you're going to commute, it could be a basic commuter, real slow speed, safe commuter. Not a lot of passing power, so it's more of a sidewalk type of wheel. You can ride in the street, and I've seen people ride this wheel pretty aggressively in the street. But compared to the Master, it's 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 so far inferior at the price point. These are both the same price, so if you're going to pay the same price for a wheel, mine as well get the superior wheel, which is the Master. Alien Rides has the Master in stock. They have both versions in stock, ready to ship. I would really like to try the Molosel version. It has less range. But allegedly has more power i would like to see like are you uh, how much faster is the acceleration of the mall cells over these stock batteries is it that much of a difference is it worth paying extra you're losing a lot of range so i know the sag is a bit bit less but how much less and i've seen the issues i've seen from the masters have been mo mostly with the mall cell batteries those have all been fixed with these newest batches that have just arrived at alien rides so if you're thinking about getting the mall cell version i think you're totally fine to do so i actually have asked to get one <laughs> i would like to ride them all so because i really want to compare the two and also if with the race coming up you know i would like the extra acceleration um, it would be great if that's what you're getting or the, the less sag give me more advantage 
You can see here the master just way out accelerates the S22 and leaves it in the dust. If anyone's racing the S22 at Apple Valley Speedway, I'm not saying that they can't win, but I feel like they're at a severe disadvantage versus the Masters. And there are some off-road races where that S22 might be superior when there aren't a lot of places where you need to accelerate. Maybe it's more like, well, on straights, I mean, the Master can go 55 miles an hour, so the S22 can, what, do 43 max, maybe? And it, it slowly winds up. All right, those are my thoughts on the Master versus the S22. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on these two wheels. Are you interested in either of these wheels? Or are you ready for something bigger? The Pagode EX30 or the V13 coming up. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs oh, up yeah. button. Use my affiliate links. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.